to the Torium. Special case for this type of the new So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so we have here in our video, um, we'll be discussing about what is the cosine of Z and the sine of Z. So as you notice in our previous discussion, um, we have considered only um, Z, wherein our X part, our real part, is equal to zero. Okay, so plus j of y wherein x is equal to zero now what if our our x is not equal to zero so there is a value of x that we are going to consider so that's why if you notice our Euler function is for example we have e to the j theta so this is our Euler function well in fact with the General form of this one, we have r a j theta. So we have considered our r as equal to um, 1. Okay, so well, in fact, the real one is this one. We need to find our r, or this is the argument of our um, imaginary number. Okay, so how we are going to do or to solve that one if um, our x is not equal to zero okay so if you are going to do that one so we need to consider we need to derive the function or the formula for that one so this video is about derivation and how to get the value or the formula for that one okay so let's start our derivation here okay so for example our z is equal to x plus j of y so we could say that cosine z from the given or from the formula that we have already that is, is equal to a j theta plus e negative j theta over 2 so our theta here or this is we could have this one replace this one as z because that is our function so that one is z okay so if you are going to substitute our given z here we could have um, e j that is x plus j of y plus e negative g x plus j of y all over 2 okay so that is how we are going to do this one okay now the next thing we are going to do is to apply our um, I, uh, the definition of an exponential function so we could have this one as have this one as e so we could have done as g of x so we just uh, first distribute our j plus negative uh, plus g squared y minus e negative g of x minus g squared y all over 2 okay then we extract the value of um, g squared Okay, so we have e g of x um, minus um, y, okay, minus y, um, minus also e negative j of x minus, so this will be negative 1, so that will be positive, so plus y. 
okay all over two so maybe we will use another uh, slide for this one okay so just erase first this one okay so Okay, so we are on this part okay so uh, just add a new slide so we have okay so we have now um, we have now e so using our exponential function so this will be e negative y um, times so we could have this one as e i believe this is let's just look back g of x also so g of x minus e and this will be y times e so let's just have this one this is negative g of x our i our y will be positive i mean this is minus 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 okay so that is positive okay so positive y negative j of x so let's just check it again so negative g of x all over two okay so we could rewrite our equation now as e negative y so we could have this one um, using our um, identities also Okay, so we could write this one as this one as the identity of a euro function. So a j theta is equal to cosine theta plus j sine theta. So we could have this one um, cosine x plus j sine x minus e to the y times cosine x so this is negative minus g sine x over all over 2 okay so we could have that one then we could also um, distribute our e to the y and our e to the negative y okay so we could have um, e negative y cosine x plus e negative y sine x so we have here our j so j this will be minus e to the y cosine x plus e to the y j sine x okay all over 2 now combining all the cosine and the signs so we have um, we have e to the negative y cosine x minus e to the y cosine x um, is plus e to the negative y j sine x um, plus e to the y j sine x all over 2 okay now we just factor out our cosine x for this group so we have cosine x e to the negative y minus e to the y okay then plus plus um, j sine x e to the negative y plus e to the y all over two. so let's just check first our sign here okay that will be okay so this is positive so we have made a grave mistake here so this is positive so this will all be positive positive 
positive so because this is positive then we will retain this one as negative okay so sometimes we need to be um, we need to be uh, much more uh, aware of our signs okay so this will be this is coming from this one I believe so this is positive this is negative okay. Okay, negative okay so now we will have this one as this will be positive okay this will be positive and this one this is is I believe this is negative for this one okay so let's check first okay so this is so this will be negative okay maybe we should just factor out the negative here so this is negative so if we're going to factor out the negative so retain this one as a negative also so positive so we just factor out the negative here okay so this will be negative and this also will be negative okay so we could rewrite this everything as cosine x e y plus e to the negative y minus j sine I have forgotten my x here sine x e to the y minus uh, minus e to the negative y okay so all of them is over 2 okay so let's just add another slide okay so we could write also this the previous equation so we could um, separate these two functions so we could have this one as one half cosine x and a cosine y so I have used x here I believe this is not x but y it says y okay okay so that is x okay so x cosine x so is this one cosine cosine x this is this is e to the y plus e to the negative y minus j sine x um, e to the y minus e to the negative y okay so if you are going to simplify this further so cosine x e to the y plus e to the negative y all over 2 minus g sine x e to the y minus e to the negative y all over 2 so these two function this one is um, the equivalent of um, hyperbolic cosine this one also is the equivalent of hyperbolic sine so we could have this one as cosine x hyperbolic sine y minus j sine x hyperbolic sine y so that is the equivalent um, equation for so we have used here the cosine z so this is equal to cosine cosine z so this is our first identity now for the second identity okay so we could just do the same um, derivation so but to make this video shorter so we could have that one as cosine um, this is sine x or uh, sine z is equal to sine x cosine y uh, plus j 
cosine x hyperbolic sine y. So that is how you are going to solve the imaginary um, number or the imaginary, imaginary function of a complex number. If we are considering the imaginary and the real part. Okay? So thank you for watching this video. We will be also having examples for this one. And as always, keep on studying.